Today we are going to talk about a very unique case that I uh, treated in 2015 and it's published uh, with the Journal of Orthodontics, the official journal of a British Orthodontic Society. Uh, and it's a very unique case because it has severe rotation and we were um, uh, treated the case successfully with, with the use of a customized appliance uh, enhancing the benefits of a CBCT scan uh, in orthodontic treatments. Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed al uh, I'm a specialist orthodontist. Um, I finished my undergraduate training in 1998 and then I did my first specialty in orthodontics and I finished it successfully in 2001. Then I did another uh, degree in orthodontics at the University of Glasgow, which I completed it in 2014 and I was lucky to win the gold medal from the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh. So I also work as uh, assistant professor at one of the universities in South Asia and also I am honorary research fellow at the University of Edinburgh. The, the patient was um, um, a young man who had an impacted upper right central incisor as you can see in the photos and uh, when we took a CBCT scan, uh, an x-ray for the, for the case we found that the tooth is rotated almost 90 degrees. And this is a problem for us as orthodontists because it will be difficult to derotate the tooth while the, root, the tooth is impacted and it's in the socket. And if we brought the tooth in, an, uh, in, in its current position, or, uh, then this means that the root will come very straight and this will cause a gum recession and dehiscence. Plus, if we, uh, if we extrude the tooth and then we rotated the tooth after we completely erupt the tooth, this means that we are going to expose the tooth to a high risk of relapse. And for, for orthodontists and for many general dentists who have a knowledge and background in orthodontics, we know that one of the most important, uh, most high or highly relapsable case in orthodontics is a rotation case. So I was thinking, I was sitting uh, at, at a dental hospital, in a Glasgow dental hospital, and I was thinking about a way of utilizing all the records that we have in order to provide the best treatments and l with less uh, relapse and better stability for that patient. And when we took a CBCT scan for the patient, uh, I was able actually to uh, get a support from uh, the lab technician at South General Hospital, Southern General Hospital in Glasgow, who printed the maxilla for me. So now I have the maxilla printed out, as you can see here. The maxilla has been printed out completely and from the CBCT scan and I was able to use the, that printed model to make or to construct a customized attachment which is rigid enough to attach to the tooth during surgical exposure. And the, the beautiful thing of this customized ap uh, appliance compared to gold chain, which is the conventional attachment in uh, any uh, impacted tooth, as you can see, uh, is that it is rigid enough. It's not like the gold chain where it is it can be twisted if we apply rotation before extruding the tooth. It's same like the submarine telescope. So while the tooth is in its place, literally what I have done, I try to rotate the tooth while it is in, in its place. And this means that when I brought the tooth down, it will come with according to the ideal position and the periodontal fiber or the circumferential fiber, which is responsible for rotation relapse, will be oriented according to this new position. Okay, so I did that and it was very successful and actually as you can see in the photo, the final photo uh, which has been done after uh, the extrusion of the tooth, you can see that the tooth which was at risk of significant amount of root resorption, uh, sorry, gum recession, now that has a better gingivity than the other tooth, which means that actually uh, the, uh, the mission uh, has been completed successfully and we brought the tooth with less uh, or with no gum recession of that tooth. And in theory, uh, in theory, as I said, we are aiming to have a, be a better stability, less rotation, because the tooth has been rotated completely before the tooth erupts. And if you go to the biology, and this is from the undergraduate training, this circumferential fiber is actually a fiber coming from the gingivity to the CEG. And you know, this fiber will only develop when the tooth erupt completely but actually I rotated the tooth before it's erupt so literally I asked I ordered the circumferential fiber uh, uh, and I asked them to go and orient themselves behave, behave themselves 
and hold the tooth in the new position and hopefully I will get a better relapse. And there is a good study, some animal study about this technique has been done previously. So to sum up, um, I, we achieved uh, all the objective of this uh, case. Uh, we uh, achieved a class one uh, incisor relationship as you can see in the final photo. Uh, we at, uh, with, with no uh, gum recession and hopefully and in theory as I said in theory a better stability and less rotation patient is happy and everyone is happy uh, so thank you so much for listening to this short video I hope that I have a longer time to explain it in more details but I know that guys you are going to lose your focus if you are if I talk for a long time however uh, that you can access the journal and it's available at the journal of orthodontics which is the official journal of Br uh, british orthodontic society uh, it has been issued in june 2015 uh, if you are struggling you know what just go and click on the link below and it will take you to the journal thank you so much for your time and have a good day